Good afternoon, Cousin Velvet. Good afternoon, Stephanie, and everybody else that's watching that I cannot see. Happy Sunday. Hope y'all gave God some praise today. Beautiful day. You know they say if you look up, you can get up. So who, who does that for you? God, right? Give him some praise. Church was good today. So anyway, guys, today's my anniversary. Seven years. All together. How many years are it all together? Seven. Uh-uh, we've been married seven. Oh, all together ten. Ten, all together ten. So on the tenth anniversary, wedding anniversary, we're going to do it up. We're going to get married again. He just don't know yet. But we're going to get married again. The tenth year, we're going to have it here at Goodwin. He said, pass the donations, would you please? <laughs> okay, so today, I got me a little jazz in the background. I'm going to make uh, what's called Japoni. It is Italian, you know, a little Italy, they, and it's really, really a uh, big thing in San Francisco. But I do it a different way, okay? Um, hey, Kalila. It's, um, it's, some people call it a seafood gumbo. It's so many different names. Seafood, something or another, whatever. Seafood with tomato paste. I, they, so many different things they call it. I would only call it a seafood gumbo. A Japoni actually has fish in it. The, uh, it has like flounder. Hi Joyce. There's so many ways you could do this dish, but I love it and I do it different every time. So I'm going to invite you guys to see another version of it. Seafood stew. Seafood gumbo. But this is a red sauce. It's not clear. So let me tell you what I have here, okay? Let me take some lids off. I pre-did pre everything. What you making, chef? Thank you. Kalila Carter, this is a chef. She used to go to her son's school, her and her um, husband, rest in peace. They would go and cook for the kids. She taught me how to do that eggplant with the Parmesan. Remember, Cheryl? Oh, I keep calling you Cheryl, I'm sorry. That's how I, my name for her, but anyway. I, I'm so used to calling her that. But yeah, this is, this is a hell of a cook, okay? It's a hell of a cook, I'm just saying. Okay, so I have some onions diced. I have some mushrooms. I have celery. Right? I minced up a little garlic. I'm going to use some cherry tomatoes with cher cherubs tomatoes. Uh, I have some clam sauce. I'm just going to point to it, okay? I have some whole tomatoes. Um, I have some parsley, red peppers, I have some scampi sauce, Worcestershire sauce, I have some cayenne pepper, I have some claws, some crab claws, original, I have some mussels out the shell, some mussels in the shell, I have some clam meat out of the shell, and then I have some imitation crab and lobster meat in here. It's going to be good, y'all. It's going to be good, 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 good. So what we want to do first, I'm going to use some grapeseed oil. Okay? I love this, okay? It gives it flavor. You can even fry with this. So I'm going to turn my heat on here. I'm going to put it on four. And by the way, this is so easy and quick. And then, guys, I'm going to saute some kale with peppers, onions, mushrooms, soy sauce, and uh, ketchup. Um, I'm gonna um, saute that and then I'm gonna put the, put the grill out, the indoor grill, and we're gonna grill some lamb chops with mint. Hmm? Yeah, we're gonna get down in here today. We're gonna get down up in here. So, yeah, I think I'll tell you about the grapeseed oil before. It's really good. And I like that you can fry with it. It's a little pricey, but it's worth it. You know, and then one time I mixed it with sunflower oil, and oh my god, it was just like really something. Oh, yeah, did I, oh, wait a minute, I forgot two things, guys. Got so much stuff. I have scallops and shrimp. I forgot. Mm, I gotta put this where I can see it. I'm forgetting already. I'm so excited to make it. Mm. So it's like really simple, but this here goes last because. When you're doing a stew like this, or like sometimes anytime you use your shrimp, you put on what you're making, put this in last, like a dish like this, because it'll cook itself. 
right? It'll cook itself. So that will go last. And this will too, because this will cook itself too, believe it or not. I diced them up. I can saute them down if I want. I don't know. Let's see. I diced them up a little bit. They're expensive too. Well, no sell over this one, so. Okay. So what we want to do first is we want to saute all of our vegetables, okay? And I'm going to keep everything in this pot. Nothing comes out this pot until it's ready to be put in a bowl. Yep. So we're going to get some heat on there. I have all my utensils. I got some nice music for you. Right? I love jazz. I should put some Daniel D on for him, huh, hey, Joyce? Give him a little Daniel D. Yes, sir. So, guys, I want to tell you something. You know how we talk about empowering each other while this grease is getting hot, the oil? You know how when we talk and we talk about empowering each other? Um, my cousin Velvet, she is on here now. She has this page. She decorates. She do it all. But she got this, this, this touch like for decorating and changing your bedroom. Uh, simple things that look beautiful, like, right? She um, has a coffee nook upstairs in her house, in the hall. It's elegant. She has upstairs on her second floor a cinema room where they go and watch movies, have girl night, game night. She decorates tables. She did something for her, her girlfriends. She was doing a luncheon for them, and she said her, her girl, what her girlfriends meant to her, don't pull out the paper plates when you have your good friends, you know? Love on them, she said. Love on them. Pull out the good stuff, you know? It's just a remarkable what she does. And I binge watched her um, last week. I couldn't stop watching her. You know, she is um, a professional at everything she does. It's called Empowerment with Velvet. She's on Facebook and she's on YouTube and I want all my viewers to please show her some love because somebody showed me a lot of love too, you know? And that's what we do. We work with each other. She's on Facebook and she's on YouTube. I want you guys to go to her YouTube page. I want you to take a look at it and I want you to subscribe. Once you go on there, you'll keep wanting more. I just kept going and kept going. And you can go on her Facebook page. Her name is Velvet Reed. She's down in the ATL. She's in the ATL. That's my first cousin. She's doing some beautiful things. And the, thing, and the places that she goes to get her stuff from, you wouldn't believe it. Yet I'm telling you guys, please check her out, okay? Let's show her some love, and we want to empower her. She's doing great things as well, okay? And I told her that I was going to do this. I got permission first, and she said, show enough. Mm-hmm. And, and this is what we do for each other. A friend that I met on here, her name was Reza. She cooks, and I'll follow Reza forever, like, and I'll find this. Reza, I want to do this, too. And I told Reza, Reza sent me a whole lot of her subscribers. They just loved on me. I started out with maybe 17 subscribers. How many do I have now, y'all? About 100, 142 or something, like 60. Uh, and that's what we do for each other. Take some time out and check her out. And I guarantee you, you'll keep coming back. You'll keep coming back. She's on here now, Velvet Reed. That's my first cousin. And she's articulate, she's pretty as a, I don't know what. Beautiful, beautiful spirit, and she loved God, huh? Show us some love. Let's cook. Let's cook. Let's cook. Let me turn something on. I was really letting that thing heat up. Hold up. Let me put some air on. All right, this is good. Now, it's really hot, so I'm gonna go down here like that. Yeah. There's the onion. All right, we have our mushrooms. This is so easy, guys, and it's quick. It don't take hardly nothing. And here's our um, celery. And let's get our peppers out. Uh. 
Okay, so in here is every color pepper, green, yellow, orange, and red. Right, we're gonna put the peppers in. We want to give it a stir. And we want to put some salt. We want to season our vegetables, right? Of course, I'm using the pink Himalayan salt. I find it really good. So we want to do that. And we want to put some pepper in there as well. Put as much as you desire. And go back and you, you know, you're going to taste it to make sure it's correct. And here's the garlic, okay? Kalila, what you cooking today? She plates our food so nicely, uh, and we can all learn something from each other. We can all learn something from each other. But I want y'all to go to Empowerment with Velvet. She talks about stuff. She empowers, she empowers people. I mean, she is just... Check out her bio, okay? Check it out, guys. She, she do more than decorate, let me tell you. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to turn this up a little bit, and as you go, you know what to do. Clean up after yourself, clean up as you go. Now I have some clam sauce. You can use seafood stock. Um. You can use vegetable stock. You can actually use whatever kind of stock you want to go in here. It doesn't have to be clam sauce. Uh, you can also just use the scampi sauce. I always like to put this in there because it enhances everything that's in here. You know how this tastes. You can make this yourself too. See in here, got little seafood pieces in here. You shake it up. You know, it's more to just butter, oil, and uh, garlic. Save a little. When I shake it up, say all that in there. Okay, let's see what we got going. So, and it's the easiest thing to make. And even though it's easy, you still want to put a lot of love in there, okay? Some people here, it's easy, and they just start dumping things. But you're not loving it, you know? Them hands ain't, you're not loving your stuff, okay? Don't just put it in there. Just because you can dump everything in there. Let it take its time to do what it needs to do. And it smells so fragrant. Oh my God. It smells like really good. It smells real good in there. See that? Okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to put the stock in there, okay? my Betty calling. Cut up. I'm not doing my show if they call again, okay? Okay. All right. So. Now, also in here, you can add a little white wine in here. I can't do that because you know how he is in the program. He is 27 years clean. I dare not put any wine in here. Huh? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. But you can. You can put some white wine in there if you want to. Okay, I'm going to put a little Worcestershire sauce in here. Wait a minute. You can like dab it a few times. Do that to your liking too. But what you don't want to do, you don't want to overdo, you don't want it to be salty. Be careful. Be careful with that. Oh my God, it smells so good. Mm. Mm -hmm. That smells like really good. Okay, we're going to start adding in the other ingredients now, okay? Now, I have... I bought these two. I used to use the fresh, you know, the mussel, fresh mussels and fresh clams and stuff. But I didn't want to be too, you have to scrub them. And I, I'm not up to doing all that, you know. When you buy your fresh um, mussels that's still in the shell in your clams, 
you gotta take a brush, you gotta really scrub that. There's things you gotta pull out, you gotta scrub, scrub, I mean, listen, I'm sort of on the tired side, so, um, you know, that's something that you wanna do on a Saturday, not a Sunday. You wanna make this, you wanna go with that, like, you know, that's like a Saturday, do that on a Saturday. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna add the sauce in, okay? Let me so you can see. The gotcha, okay. This was uh, tomato sauce, right? Now you can use um, any kind of tomatoes you want, but I had these other tomatoes sitting out, you know, and I didn't want them to go bad, so. Look, I'm getting all that out of there, huh? So I didn't want these to go bad, so I took and rinsed them off inside of here, right? I'm gonna put them all in here now. Look at that. I'm gonna use every, and a little more, huh? And the same thing you would do with a regular the tomatoes on the vine. You put all that in there. And I'm gonna get the seasoning some of this before I put all the other stuff in. I'm gonna put a little seasoning in here. I wanna put a little oregano. Hey Celeste! You're so welcome, cousin. You are so welcome and it's so that was that's him again, Art. Believe it or not. A little rosemary. Your herbs are really good for this kind of stuff, guys, okay? I always think of Joyce when I use my parsley. <laughs> Joyce, you use parsley for everything. I sure do. I'm telling you, parsley make anything taste good. Right? I'm going to put some cayenne pepper in there. I don't measure, you guys. You know that. I don't want to hit it too hard because I want to use some pepper flakes too. Give a little kick here. Right? I'm going to put a few pebbles of allspice. Okay. Now we're going to start building. Can't do this without the obey, huh? Of course not. Of course not. Stir it up a little bit. Y'all see that part? Wait a minute. Mmm, and it smells so good. Okay, we're gonna start adding more stuff in here. So let's put the mussels in first. See, this was the easy way. I wish they had clams like this, because I like both. You know, even, got, even though I have all that meat, that good meat, makes it hearty. Don't take these long to open up. And this is in garlic and butter. Okay? Here is the clam meat. A lot of people say, oh, I don't like clams. You, you don't even know, when you eat all this stuff together, it's just about the best taste. It's like happiness in your mouth, like, boom, a burst of goodies. You don't even know what you're eating because of all these different good flavors and stuff. I'm like, you can't single it out, trust me. You, unless you know, you know, unless you know. And this is what the inside of the muscles look like. Mm, look at that there. We're cooking with gas now, y'all. We're getting down. Mm. Okay, I'm going to get a different spoon. I know that. Mm, 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 mm. Give that a good oil. And you can let this cook as long as you want. The better, the better the taste. 
okay? This is the craft. These are the claws. Juice and all is going to go in here. I got to taste this first and make sure it's fresh. Hmm. Have some. Ah, oh, it's fresh. Mm, 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 mm. Get that up in there. Babe, huh? you done called in here twice. Oh. Sasha. Yeah, you know what time it is. Yeah, yeah. That don't make sense. Okay, there we go. Can you still see that? Okay. Give it a good stir. Then, we are going to add the imitation stuff. This is the imitation crab and lobster. Don't be hearty. Hearty, hearty, hearty. And we're not going to add the shrimp in the uh, scallops until the very, until it's almost done. And then you want to taste this, right? You want to taste your, your juice. And that way, when you taste that already, you'll know what you need, okay? all I need and I don't want to go too heavy right I forgot my time put that time in there y'all okay and that's all the ingredients then you just take and let that cook itself until all this stuff, look, all these different flavors, all that stuff gonna come together, incorporate each other, and oh my God, hmm? it's gonna be good. So what I'm gonna do now is put the top on here and let it cook, right? And I'm gonna put these two items in the refrigerator. You gotta keep them refrigerated. My last 20 minutes of this, like about five o'clock, I'm gonna add this in there, okay? So I'm gonna put it in there. That's how easy this is. It's all about taking your time and loving on it. You see, I didn't just dump it in there. I talked about what I'm doing. I tasted to make sure it was correct. I tasted to make sure I didn't need to add anything else, which I did. You gotta love on your stuff. You can add as much seafood as you want in there. Now, if you're adding fish in here, right? You put your fish in also your last 20 minutes too, because if your fire is high enough, that fish gonna cook. So you want flat fish, you want thin fish, you don't want. If you're gonna do like big fish, you put it in the same time you put everything else in. The only reason I don't like to put the fish in there because it's shreddy, you know. I don't know if I'm tasting the, the crab meat or the fish. It takes away, you know, don't have its own unique flavor. So that's why, but this dish is big, you know, when, uh, for instance, when you're in Frank, uh, Frank can, I can't talk. Frank, Frank can, oh Lord, what's the place I'm trying to tell you? Frank, Frank, and, mm, Frank and Cisco. I don't know why I couldn't get that out, y'all. But anyway, it's big down there. It's big. It's really big. And they really believe in putting their fish straight from the sea. And that pot, I did my homework on this, you know, before I do anything. So I'm going to make it mine. This is my way. But um, if I was to put the fish in there, it would be thick, you know, something thick. Like, um, and if not, if I wanted to use something thin, you know, I'll wait to the end, but the thick you put it right in the, in the beginning and stuff. Now your Worcestershire sauce, give it a, a little sweet taste, which I think I want to just add a little more. Don't put no soy sauce in here. It's one or the other. 
or the other. Unless she wants some salty stuff. And then again, and then you don't want to overcook it anyway. Everybody's texture is different, okay? So I'm just going to cook mine until I feel this ready, okay? Because you don't want a pot of mush either, okay? You can mess up here. Trust me, you can mess up here. So let's just stuff. It depends what, how, what size pot you're using. This here, I already know a good hour is good. I already know that. I already know that. Now I'm going to taste this again. I need to make sure. This is so good. Mmm. That is perfect. Mmm. Oh, yeah. That is so good. Okay. Some of that, my tomatoes do what it do, fall apart in there. Mmm, 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 mmm. I'm going to put the top on here somewhere. And guys, there's a part two to this video, okay? I'm going to saute some, um, let that do what it do. I'm going to saute some kale um, and grill some um, lamb chops. And I'm going to cook with the mint today, the fresh mint. So I'm going to end this. If you want to come back in 10 minutes, I'll be doing um, the uh, grilled lamb chops and the kale. Okay? If not, it will be posted. Doing simple things today. It's my anniversary. I want to relax. I'm going to go shoot the breeze with hubby also. He watching sports, but I'll just sit here and act like I'm interested for about a half hour and get up out of there. <laughs> and go upstairs and watch my black and white movies. Uh-huh. So and he's doing pretty good. We moved back upstairs to the penthouse. We don't, we don't sleep down here on the first landing no more. Thank God, because I'm so comfortable upstairs. I got everything I need on the side of my bed. Y'all seen that. I've showed you that before. Some of y'all anyway, but I got it all laid out. But we was in the guest room, one of the guest rooms down here, because he couldn't do the stairs due to his knee replacement. But he's doing really, really good. He's walking with the cane. He's bending that knee. He can walk up and down the stairs. God is good, right? Okay, so remember, if you don't come back, just take this from me. Empower each other. Let's support each other, okay? Support each other. Take a few minutes and head over to my cousin's website, okay? Head over to YouTube. And if you ain't subscribed to my channel, I suggest you do that too. We thank you so much and we love you. We love you. You know that. But check out Velvet. Trust me. I got a lot of good ideas for my uh, table in here now, too. She's really good, y'all. So, I'll be back in 10 minutes. I got to set up the grill up here. I got to clean all this stuff out. And, of course, I want to show you the finished product. So, if you come back, you will see me add the rest of the stuff. You will see the end of it. If not, it's okay. You'll see it when I post it, okay? I don't like to keep you that long, but I would like for you to learn some different stuff, okay? So, I hope you enjoyed this. I will be back in 10 minutes. Hope to see you. If not, it's okay. I thank you and enjoy your Sunday. All right? Take that.